And believe it or not, you know, the election day, not far away. And as it draws near, we're now starting to see some disputes over political yard signs that kind of lead to some lessons, actually, in free speech in America's neighborhoods. The well, homeowners can express their political views by planting yard signs, but sometimes, unfortunately, those signs may collide with community association boards. Well, joining us now is Denise Hoganess from the Community Association Institute. She's here to kind of talk about these political yard signs as well as free speech and some flags. When it comes to political yard signs, Denise, mm -hmm. give me an idea. I mean, it seems like a basic right that homeowners can put them out. Can HOAs really tell them that they are not allowed to display those? You know, we're not really going to tell people that they can't display their yard sign, but what we are going to tell people is maybe how many they can display, okay. the size that they can display, because, you know, nobody wants to live next to a billboard. Um, and then we can also regulate the duration. So generally you have 45 days before the election to put the sign up and generally seven days after. But you'll need to check with your um, local ordinance as well as your community association. So. Yeah, we're not going to limit your freedom of speech because associations really aren't interested in doing that. Um, what we're interested in is in involvement, and putting a yard sign out really demonstrates that involvement. So, um, you know, we as associations re rely on involvement just like our government relies on involvement. So, no, we're not going to limit your freedom of speech. Just regulate time, place, and manner. And the big billboard. That's mm -hmm. maybe something that your neighbor doesn't want to live next to for the next 45 days. Right. What about when it comes to, to flags? You know, if it's an American flag or some other mm -hmm. flag. Flags are... are regulated very similarly. We can regulate the location, but we can't necessarily say that you can't put that flag up. And that includes the American flag as well as, um, you know, other types of military flags. Okay. So we would really suggest that people check with their um, HOA manager or their board of directors before they go displaying that sign because there could be rules, like I said, about size and location. What do you recommend if a homeowner is actually having an issue with their HOA when it comes to a sign? What type mm -hmm. of steps should they take? Really, they should start with communication, and communication is key when you're working with your community association. So whether it be an issue with the board or an issue with the manager, you really got to open those lines of communication up. So um, definitely make sure that you're either communicating in writing or via phone call. The other thing that we're finding really is that education is huge when we have these disputes and the Community Association Institute has a huge opportunity for both homeowners and board members. We have our fall conference coming up on November 10th. We would really love it if we had some board members and some community leaders involved in that. We host it on a Saturday so that people that are um, working and volunteering can get involved. If you want to, I think that it's on the bottom of the station right now, but it's CAI. Um, Chuck, hyphen dot org. Okay, CAI hyphen dot org. All right, Denise, thanks so much for being here. And we, of course, are going to put additional information on our website as well. And we can even eventually maybe get a link to CAI hyphen dot org. Just go to the Denver Channel dot com. Click on the big red TV button. Thank you very much for being thanks, here. Thanks, Chris.